guys and today we are witnessing the launch of the all new BMW G23 series. Welcome everybody to the G20 launch, the new BMW 3 series. This one takes over from the F30. So let's just give you guys a quick roundup. BMW already extravagantly did the whole launch. So right now, we've got the sunset orange here. We've got the sexy blue. We got what's a BMW without blue? Black. Okay, as of now, these are all the CBU units and we're only getting the 330 IM spot again for now BMW have not mentioned if we will be getting the 330E or 320 i yet but we do look forward to that because we know the 330E has sold very well previously alright so let's see if we can sneak up and get a closer look check it out, check it out the styling we've got double tailpipes now which you only got in the F3 335i before Super sleek styling using the Hofmeister kink design over here, which has been around for BMWs for a long, long, long time. It's just modernized now. Yeah, super sporty rims, those of you guys who love some performance wheels, because you guys know BMW is the way to go when it comes to performance. Wrapped in Eagle F1 tires over here, definitely doing a good job to put down all that power. Right, let's check out. Uh, yeah, we got one with the hood open. Engine wise, it's the same 2 litre twin power uh, engine as before. This time with 258 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. That allows this car to head all the way 0 to 100, 5.8 seconds, which is very, very, very good. Can you imagine getting just a 328,000 car which can do 0 to 100 in 5.8 seconds? Very good for performance. I mean, it's a BM. Which BMW out there does not handle performance very well? It's like one of BMW's trademark, and of course, when we do the test drive later, we get to enjoy their driving dynamics. And I will be letting you guys know what that feels like. Okay, so this car is wider and longer than the F30, so that means you do get more legroom behind. Those of you familiar with the F30 will know that more legroom is always better. We've got super comfy seats right here, look at that. Kidney grills have also changed right now because now they are more, they are connected already at the center, much wider than before. We see a lot of the 8 series elements inside here, especially on the outside, and when you go inside, it's even more connected to the 8 series. The styling language has completely changed from before. There you go. Check that out. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with this. The car has really grown up inside compared to the F30. So much lesser buttons, a lot cooler materials used, a lot more stylish, modern. Completely new graphics, and of course, there's no more dials. A full 12 inch display. Look at that. 
So there is blue, black, and of course, super sexy sunset orange and white. So you guys can take your pick whichever one you want. I'll be honest, I'll probably go for the sunset orange because that's just oh, it reminds me so much of an M car. So far, there's no word yet when the M3 will be out here, but of course, that's what us people at Hypertune love. We've got a 480 litre boot space, which is equivalent to the G20's main rival, which of course I shall not mention, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, available on this car is intelligent park assist it's a next level parking assist which also not only helps you park the car in a parallel spot which is available in most cars it also helps you reverse out of the lot the same way it goes in what it does is the system memorizes your movement for the past 50 meters and then it just repeats it in reverse order so you can get in and out of a tight spot without any issue whatsoever and also those of you using android will be happy to know that you can uh, have an NFC connected kind of system so you don't need your key you can connect it to your phone you can just get in unlock with your phone itself and start the car and drive away okay, even the tail lights are super stylish now the 3D design nice little reverse L shape Yeah, we did not have a chance to see this color if i'm not mistaken this is mineral gray it kind of looks more executively sporty at the same time all right so i'm gonna head over for the test drive now but before that i gotta check out this one 330 m sport as well but seems to have some form of m performance back in it because there's some stickers over there and super cool rims these seem a lot like the f e p m4 Ready? Yes. Yeah, good. Right. So it's more of a subscriber. Alright, cool. Thanks. So yeah, a lot like the M4, M3 GTS uh, rims. So let's go get to the test drive. 